Hey everyone, Allison back with another Prototech tip. This week I'm going to focus on some design considerations that you can make to improve thermal management for your custom enclosures. As you already know, here at Protocase and Protospace MFG, we're able to build your fully finished custom electronic enclosures within a fast lead time of just two to three days. This will allow you to save invaluable time while making no compromises on the quality of your enclosures. And when it comes to quality, one way to make sure your custom enclosure runs smoothly and safely is by thinking about thermal management right from the design stage. Electronic components generate heat during operation. And without proper management, this heat can lead to malfunctions or even permanent damage. But it's not just the devices that get affected by excessive heat. It can also be a real threat to users, and that's definitely something we want to avoid. So when you're designing, remember to think about thermal management. It can really help you create a custom enclosure that's safer, more durable, and just performs better. Now let's dive into six ways you can consider thermal management while you're designing a custom enclosure. First up is the obvious one, the material you use. It's going to have a big impact. When selecting materials for your custom enclosure, consider their thermal conductivity. Materials with high thermal conductivity, like aluminum, can help dissipate heat more effectively than those with lower conductivity, such as plastic. This selection can significantly impact the overall thermal performance of your enclosure. Number two, look at ways to add ventilation. It's important to strategically design your vent placement to create natural airflow. This will ensure cool air enters and hot air escapes through vents, facilitating better airflow and cooling. Also, make it a point to avoid airflow blockages. By this, I mean to make sure to plan in such a way that you add components and cables later on, you should be able to arrange them in a way that it doesn't obstruct airflow. Louvers are a fantastic way to create ventilation openings in your enclosure. It's part of our in-house services and we can get it done within our nominal lead time of two to three days. Another way you can improve thermal management is by adding heat sinks. Heat sinks come in various shapes and sizes, each designed for specific applications. Choose the right type based on the heat output of your components and the available space within your enclosure. Needless to say, the placement and orientation of heat sinks are critical for effective thermal management. You're going to want to make sure that heat sinks are positioned to maximize airflow and heat dissipation. Avoid placing them near heat sensitive components. It's also important to look at active cooling solutions. You can add design elements that will help integrate fans. You're just going to want to select the appropriate size and type based on your enclosure's requirements. Ensure that they're positioned to optimize airflow and cooling efficiency. Also, make a note of your component placement. You're going to want to plan in such a way that you optimize your layout for heat dissipation. Place heat generating components away from heat sensitive ones. Arrange components to promote natural convection, positioning hotter components higher in the enclosure. The final consideration I'm going to talk about is the environment in which the custom enclosure will be used. Think about the temperature, humidity, and other environmental conditions where you'll be using the enclosure. It's important to make sure it's designed to keep out dust and moisture while also still allowing for proper cooling. By the way, it's important to remember that most cooling systems can't effectively cool down a case more than the ambient temperature. And if you need help designing a custom enclosure that considers thermal management, just reach out to us. You can fill out the contact us form on our website. We'd love to help you out. That's all I have for this week's Prototech Tip. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like and share the video. Until next time, take care.